Here are five notion tricks to improve your focus. Because staying focused isn't about having more willpower, it's about having a workspace that creates clarity, structure, and momentum. So by the end of this video, you'll see how my notion setup keeps me locked in on what matters the most. And not just for an hour, but for the whole day. Because before these five tricks, I was doing busy work that feels productive, but never actually moves anything forward. And now I can stay focused the whole time that I'm working. Subscribe for Notion tutorials. Let's dive in. For this video, I'll be using Headquarters, which is my premium Notion template. But of course, you can implement these ideas into your own Notion dashboard. But if you are interested in Headquarters, then there's a link in the description to the template. Now, this first trick here has been revolutionary for my focus and consistency. What I'm going to do is just start by adding a couple of tasks. I'll just do some fake tasks here. What you're going to do is use this state of mind property. So here you have a few different options. We have a flow task, which takes about two hours to complete and involves full cognitive effort. Then we have a quick task, which only takes a few minutes. We have an easy task, which are typically admin tasks and take under an hour. And we have personal tasks. So I'll just fill out some of these. We'll make a few flow. We'll make one quick, easy, and just another quick. So now that you have your tasks and you've filled out your state of mind property, what I'll do is just add these here to my calendar. So I can either do that by simply dragging it like this, or I can select the date here. It gets added like that. And then I can literally drag all of these in like that as well. So all of these tasks here are for today. Now, the reason we're filling out how much focus is involved for this task is because I have a productivity rule where I can only have two flow tasks per day. That's because if a flow task takes two hours to do, and our brain can only handle four hours of full cognitive effort per day, it's going to be unrealistic to give ourselves more than four hours of full cognitive effort per day. We'll simply burn out over time. So that way I can look at my tasks here and see, okay, I have three flow tasks. I'm going to have to drag one to the next day. Before planning like this, I would go one day where I was really, really focused and I had a lot of energy. And then the next day I was, you know, in the sofa the whole day. Then when I implemented this flow rule, my focus was consistent and it helped me get a lot more done. All right, so we have our tasks here in this day. So if we scroll up here, we can see my day to day. And this here will help me with my second step for focus. See here, what I can do is fill out the time that I'm going to do the task. This is referred to as time blocking, also known as time boxing or daily scheduling. Now there's two main methods of doing this. The first one is to drag the hardest task to the start of the day. So you'll do a flow task first. This is known as eating the frog. That's the way I personally like to work, but I know a few people prefer to do it the opposite way where they like to start with some quick and easy tasks just to kind of get the ball rolling. So knowing the state of mind here, we can plan the day in accordance with that. So what I'll do here is start with the hardest tasks first. That's the way I like to work. So let's say I'll do this at 9 a.m. It's a flow task, so it will take two hours. I'll do this here at 11. Then I have lunch as well. So let's say this is at 2 p.m. That's a quick task. So let's say this is at 2.15 p.m., for example. And then let's say this easy task here is at 2.30 p.m. So what I've done here is time block my day. And this helps with my focus because I know, hey, when it's at 9 a.m., I only need to think about task two. So now we can give ourselves the permission to focus. So how can we make focusing even easier? Well, let's say all of these tasks here are to do with a specific project. Let's say they're all to do with project one, whatever hypothetical project one is. And I'll add this to all of them. And we'll also add the bucket here of job. So they're all to do with project one at my job. What I can do when I'm working here is scroll down and open up this thing that I call a micro dashboard. So I can click here on project one that got created and I'll open this up full screen. Now, when I'm working here, I'm only seeing the tasks, notes and bottlenecks that are relevant to project one. This eliminates distractions because I'm not seeing other tasks, other notes, or anything else that's not to do with this one specific project. And micro dashboards aren't just to do with projects, but I have micro dashboards in my Notion workspace for everything that I need. I can see all of my notes here. I can see all of my resources in this one, all of my personal tasks in this one, everything that's moved the needle, all of my habits in this one. If I wanna see everything to do with my job, I can simply open up this micro dashboard. And on this page here, I'm seeing my day filtered out to only show me the stuff to do with my job. I'm seeing only my work tasks. I'm seeing only my work projects and only notes to do with my job. Using micro dashboards is a game changer for your focus. So you've time blocked your day. And when you're working, you're ticking off these tasks as you go. But we can take this one step further to improve your focus even more. Here on the side, we have this thing called minutes. So here, what you can do is say how long these tasks are taking you. And we're not just filling these out for the sake of it. See, when we scroll down here, we can access this time tracker page. And this here is a micro dashboard that only has our time tracking. 
So here under time on buckets, I can see it broken down by my different life buckets. Now because we only have job tasks in here, there's only this one bucket, but let's add a task here of tennis. It's a personal task and it's to do with fitness and I played for 60 minutes. If I scroll down now and go back to my time tracking, now I can see tennis, which I played for 60 minutes, AKA one hour, which is to do with a bucket of fitness. And in the job bucket here, I can see I've spent 5.5 .5 hours in total at my job. Here on time on projects, we have the same idea, but it's broken down by your different projects. And by having a page with your actual data of your time tracking, you can know if you're actually focused on your project because you might think, hey, I've spent 20 hours on this project one here when in reality you've only spent 5.5. I've done this for well over a year now. I know exactly where my time is going and if I'm actually focused on my project. So let's say you've finished a few projects. Let's just say this project one here, the status here is complete. So it gets removed from this view here, but you can find it of course under the finish tab. Let's just add a few different projects here. What you can do is click on this move the needle page and let's open this up. So this here is a micro dashboard for finding the things that actually move the needle. Here I can see all of my projects and if I click on this tab here, I can see every single one of my tasks. And what I can do is literally go through every single task I've done and every single project that I've done and find the ones that have moved the needle. These are the 20% of tasks or projects that had 80% of the results. So let's just say this project two here, whatever that is, hypothetically this moved the needle for you. You can now change this to move the needle. And let's scroll up here and let's say this hypothetical task three here, move the needle. I can change this importance to move the needle. So now on this tab here, I can find that task three sitting here. And what this allows me to do is know which tasks and projects I should focus more on. So maybe I should focus my time on doing more tasks similar to task three and finishing more projects that are similar to this project two here. This allows me to know exactly where my time should be focused. There's a link in the description to headquarters. It's got over 3,500 users and a five-star rating. Or if you're not ready yet, you can click here to see the full headquarters tour. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful.